Let's go to question number 12. So question number 12. So In this question we're given diagram and we're given two masses and the question is asking in the figure in the given figure a block of mass m in the following figure slides on a frictionless surface. So here there's no force of friction. It's a frictional a frictionless surface. So let's just draw a quick diagram and then we'll continue the question. So we have some some frictionless surface and it's kind of something like this. And then derive an expression for the tension in the given string. Give answers in M. So the, the, the bottom mass, M. And then the upper mass, capital M, as constants. So um, we have to start off by drawing free, free body diagrams. So I'll erase this diagram. But we'll start off with the top mass to draw the free body diagram. So for this mass, we'll, we'll just put a dot in the middle. And the force that's moving this is the force of tension. So because it's tied to a rope, we know the force of tension is pointing the positive x axis. So I'll draw a little coordinate diagram. So the x is positive in this direction and y is positive in this direction. So that's the first component of our answer. We know uh, Newton's second law of motion says F net is equal to MA. So we know here FT. So the net force is just Ft. Mass, capital M, because we're looking at the mass up here, times the acceleration. So we have some acceleration. We'll call this acceleration in the x. So we'll call this acceleration in the x direction. So we'll call the acceleration for mass M, acceleration in the x, and the acceleration in the y for ma mass lower, lowercase m. Okay, so that's the first free body diagram. For the second free body diagram, we have, I'll actually, I'll draw it over here. So, so let's see if I can, yeah, I'll move this over here. And I'll draw the second one over here. So we have this mass over here. And then we have the force of gravity. So Fg, and then we have the force of tension. F T. Because the rope is connected, we know that the force of tension here and the force of tension here is the same. Okay. And then we'll use F net equals M A to derive the second equation. So we know the acceleration here is downward. So acceleration in the Y is downward. So we know Ft minus Fg. So this is the net force on in this free body diagram will equal mass, so lowercase m, times acceleration in the y. And it's in the downward direction, so we'll put a negative sign in the front. So now we have two equations here. We can go further to say that Ft minus mass times the, the force of gravity, so or acceleration due to gravity, which is just represented by the variable g, which is 9.8 meters per second, is equal to negative um, a. So here I have a, so it's a, let's just say a y. So we know a x will equal a y because the rope is connected here. So we know if mass lower mass accelerates, we know this mass will also accelerate at a similar acceleration. So we'll just represent this by A, so no sub subscript. So we'll just erase the subscripts because we know they're the same. So we'll erase this and we'll erase this and we'll get rid of this. All right. So knowing this, we can rearrange this equation and we'll end up with Ft over M equals A. And we'll use this and we'll substitute it into that. So we'll, we'll substitute the value of A into that. So we'll have Ft minus Mg equals negative M. And then we have 
FT over capital M. Okay, so we've kind of um, we we're getting closer to an equation that we can use to um, represent the equation um, with kind of FT. So we want to um, derive an expression for the force of tension. So we're trying. That's our end goal. So we want to isolate for FT. So we'll bring um, the FT components on the left side and we'll take everything else to the right side. So we'll have FT plus, so we have this, this part, we're going to move it to the left side. So plus M over M FT will equal, so we'll move MG to the right side, MG. So I'll erase the top part. To make some space. So now we'll factor out FT. That'll give us 1 plus lowercase m over capital M, which will equal mg. And now FT will equal mass times gravity. So gravity is just 9.8 meters per second over 1 plus m over m. So here we've essentially given in our answers. So here give answers in m, locus m, capital M, and constants. So g is just a constant. We know what the value is. And then we have the rest, m, on top. And then we have 1 plus m, locus m, over capital M. So we've provided the derivation for the force of tension um, in, with kind of those variables. So let's look at the attempted solution. The vertical forces for block 1 are balanced and thus writing the equation for the x components. In the case of block 2, the situation is different as a subject to gravity and tension. So f at x, so for the first mass, they derive the equation and they represent t here as the force of tension. We have FT, so it's just the same um, variable. And when the block M moves to the right, then the expression for block M, the lowercase m, can be written as, as follows, and that's kind of what we derived. Um, and then they end up with tension. So we, they do the same substitution and the same manipulation of the equation to get to the final answer. So this answer is correct. So correct. Answer great job. So we'll mark that as correct. All right, so thanks for tuning in to this session. Hopefully, you found this session helpful and learned how to solve some popular physics problems. If you have any more questions or need any more homework help, you can always go on oneclass.com. Um, and you can always visit the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, you can click the subscribe button uh, and give a like for this video. I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye for now.